All right, YouTube, this is my Lund Moon Visor that I'm installing. I haven't seen one on YouTube yet how to install it, but this is the way I'm doing it. Kind of showing you guys the parts that I got here. I got from West Marine, I got everything in stainless. It's the 12 by 1 size self tapping screw. I know some will say for sheet metal, but this will work just fine. 12 by 1 self tapping, and it's got to be the one that's flat, and I'll show you why. You notice here, I kind of got one set up for you. You're going to need the little caps, that way it looks nice and clean. And I got this from West Marine also, the screw caps number 10 and 12. These are 12 by 1, so you need the 12 cap. Comes in a pack. You're going to need two different size drill bits. For the A post, which I've already pre drilled, you're going to need the 11 64ths. So let me try to zoom in here. Let's see. 11 64ths for this one. Because this is a thicker metal, so you're going to have to use a little bit bigger bit. For the roof, you're going to need a 5 seconds. That's for the roof holes. That's probably going to be hard to see, but they're already pre drilled here. Um, again, you got two different size drill bits because the roof metal is a much thinner metal than the A post. The A post is a much thicker metal. So you won't need to make the hole as big and you'll get a much better bite. Um, all right, I'll continue now with the mounting. All right, YouTube, so you can see how I mounted these holes or where I placed them. Right where the A-post comes up here, let me move this forward. Right here where the A-post moves forward, you got to line up the visor right in line with it. Your rain gutter gets covered by this thing. That's your rain gutter right here. This is covers your rain gutter, and this lines up with it. I recommend at minimum two people, yourself and somebody else, to help you mount this because you do have to measure it quite a few times. That way you can get it perfect and that way you can get all the angles perfect. Um, if, and I say at three would be best because that way you can have them both hold it. You look, measure, remeasure because you only got pretty much one shot. Again, you look there. Once you have that mounted, then you can go up to the top and drill in your holes for the top. I recommend for when you are gonna do the top holes, drill these, screw them in, you know, just present them in there, then do your this hole right here. That hole right there, hopefully you guys can see. All right, for the top hole, once you have this hole done, let's see if I can see it. Once you have that hole done, then move over to this hole this hole then you can screw it in and then do your top ones again start off this one then that one and then do the middle ones obviously you're doing this one first go to the other side knock out the other one that way you have it mounted on the truck somewhat and then pull this down once you have both sides in it is a very tight squeeze it's designed that way so that way it won't move or shake or vibrate or anything it is a tight fit it is normal and that's pretty much it as far as the mounting of it you're also going to need here we can take it off now when you do drill these holes you're going to need to apply a, a sealant of some sort like a silicone or a uh, i'm going to use 5200 5200 is a marine sealant it's Badass, it's probably one of the best sealants out there. It holds like a beast. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna put a dab around this hole so when it squeezes, it gives me a nice clean look. And it also seals the hole. Keep any water from coming out. Same thing right here. All right, All right there you go. So you guys can see the holes as they're sealed up. Just put little dabs on there. This one's running a little bit. I just gotta clean it off. But as you can see there, if you have silicone, it'll hold in place a little bit better, but this sealant is 
some bad stuff, so I want to work with it as fast as possible. YouTube. See, there's the two screws. I left the front ones out. This thing is pretty freaking solid right now. Just grab these caps, just push them on. Let's pull it out. Also, one thing I recommend: see all the screws here that go on the actual uh, on the actual um, lights. I took those out and replaced them with the exact same ones in stainless. That way, I have no problems with rusting. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. I'll make another video on wiring it up. Here, go ahead and take a tour around. Hey YouTube, just updating here. Um, I know I had uh, shown in the other video that I didn't mark the two holes in the front of the visor, but I went ahead and I drilled out those two. Um, if you don't drill out those two, I tried it. I tried maybe going with uh, without having to drill the two front ones, but I went ahead and I tried it, and I was getting a lot of vibration out of the front going around 55, 50 miles an hour. So. I went ahead and I drilled the two front ones and it, it, it's there for a reason. So, now it's all done. <laughs>